Just be glad for all you have that's in today. Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, episodes 6 and 7. Okay, so this is a two-parter. Uh, as you remember last week, I decided to take the week off because just a crap ton of stuff I was getting up. And I wanted to specifically get to both of these episodes at once. The problem is, at that time, last week, I only had one uh downloaded and by the time I really got to it I just didn't have enough time to download another episode and record and everything so yeah we're getting it to, we're getting to it this week though and I'll be honest so far the series has not impressed me it's not terrible but it's not my thing so far um, maybe it's just the inner DC fangirl talking, um, but to be honest, this ha and again, it's not even that it's disappointing or anything, because I feel that in order to be disappointing, I would have had to have had um, some kind of positive expectations. But to be honest, most of the Marvel stuff I've experienced outside of the MCU, I didn't like. And I don't know, I don't remember if I talked about this when I first started this series. Um, but that's kind of been my biggest problem with Marvel. I'm not into the characters as much, and I just don't like the stories. And so far with this series, our first uh, five episodes, completely introductory. Completely introductory and meant to really uh, establish who our main set of heroes are. Now, I have started saying recently that uh, because of some issues that had been brought up, um, especially regarding past uh, Mega Stream reward reactions, um, I was going to stop dropping shows unless I really feel that I don't have any interest in continuing. And I'm standing by that because... At the moment, I am kind of in the meh section on this show. And although I, I didn't mention it before or last week or whatever, that is actually another reason I skipped last week because I was feeling very uninterested in getting to these next episodes. I mean, the main reason was still the factor that I didn't have the next episode downloaded and I wanted to do both parts at the same time. But still... Um, I've been, honestly, from the very beginning of the show, I've been very mad on it. No, nothing about it has really hooked me yet. Um, it, it's done a good job at keeping me slightly interested, but that's about it. So what I'm saying with this is I'm not putting it on watch yet or anything, but I think that's going to be determined by today's episodes. Um, whether or not I put it on watch starting next week is going to be determined on whether or not today's episodes strike me in any kind of notable way. Because at this point, I'm losing interest in this series. Like, rapidly losing interest. To the point where there's other stuff I recorded today and everything, um, that I was so excited to get to. And then I remembered I had to record this and my mood dropped like a anvil. I just, I am not as into this series. And I've heard other people say that this series supposedly had a lot of uh, corporate meddling involved in it, um, especially later on in the series. Um, but I think uh, it's more so just, again, the characters and everything. And the MCU does these characters phenomenally. But the problem, like I said, everywhere else I've seen these characters, I don't like them. I mean, you may have noticed last time, in the last reaction, I noted how I pretty much hated Thor in this uh, in the in this series, how he was portrayed there. I I could not stand him, or honestly Loki for that matter. Um, and it's just like, not none of the other characters I really like either. I mean, 
Black Panther, I mean, we just haven't had enough with, so I honestly can't say with him. Um, but, like, Black Widow, Hawkeye, um, Hulk. Um, Captain America is probably the one I like the most. But honestly, I mean, it's still not saying much. It's like, if I were to put up my, my interest in him at, at, like, this point in a series against my interest in anyone else from, like, a DC superhero series or even some anime superhero series, he wouldn't stack up. Even within, like, only five episodes worth. Even if he were in all five of those episodes, which he wasn't, but still. The point I'm trying to make is I am really losing interest in this series. But like I said, I will not drop it unless my interest goes down to pretty much zero. Unless I really just have no interest in continuing it. The only way I'll drop it is if I really just do not care for this series at all anymore. Um, just going off of a meh isn't enough. And I, and I, I plan to go by that from from now on for as long as for long as I do this basically at least uh, unless I forget or whatever but I'm gonna try to um, but yeah it's just I really don't want to drop shows for the wrong reasons anymore and again the only the only way I find would be the right reason to drop a show would be to have that no interest in it but like I said, right now, I'm kind of meh. Leaning towards the negative, but kind of meh. Um, there is potential in it. But I do feel it needs to capitalize on that potential to have, well, to really have enough worth for me to desire to continue. Um, so these episodes, these two episodes we're going to react to today will, will basically, it's, it, you could kind of say it's, it's on watch for being on watch. <laughs> because like I said, if I if if this week's episodes are good enough to keep me going to believe there's still enough potential to raise my desire up enough to want to continue watching, then I will. If not, if it doesn't really make any change or makes things a little worse or whatnot for me in terms of my thoughts on this, then next week will definitely be kind of its last chance to really start to impress me. And But there is a third option. If these episodes are so abysmally bad that my interest plummets and once again, reaches to pretty much zero interest in continuing this series. I will drop it right then and here today. But that's also very unlikely. I, I, I have almost never found a series that has made my interest plummet um, that quickly and that suddenly. Um, like if I were to give numbers to it, like let's say like currently I'm sitting around like if you if it was out of a hundred percent for interest my percentage would probably be somewhere between 45 and 50 right now so yeah still kind of in the middle but on the lower end of things still um for me to really drop it i'd say it ha would have to get to 10 percent or lower because if it reaches 10 percent interest in continuing on even at 10 percent it's not worth it Anything above that, I can still, I can still give uh, enough credit to. I can still give us another chance to. But if it if it drops to below ten percent, and again, this is this is kind of just going off of like how I feel about it. It's not there's no actual percentages there. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. If it goes like below that level of like complete disinterest in continuing then there's no reason to continue in my eyes. And yeah, unfortunately, that would be how we have to go. But hopefully it doesn't do that. I really hope it doesn't. Uh, we've already we've spent these first five episodes introducing our characters. So these next two, be it being a two-parter, I know nothing about what they're actually about, but I hope that that's when we're going to start 
connecting our characters. We're going to start bringing them together as the Avengers. Um, maybe not actually forming the official team yet, but they're going to start possibly interacting or some big story is going to start. Um, if I were to say what my biggest flaws with this series in particular are, I mean, just outside of not having much interest or likability like for the characters or whatnot, um, the biggest thing about this series that I notice is it's trying to do way too much, way too quickly. With the MCU, it's spent a lot of time and a lot of uh, care and focus building everything up. It didn't just thrust everything upon you in one go. And that's what this series seems to be doing. It's thrusting way too much on you. There's way too many uh, villains at the moment who have too much of a focus. There's too many at the same time. Um, there's... Uh, there, there's just too many major plot points as well. And it feels like... It, it, I just don't see how they're going to connect in any meaningful ways at the moment. So, I, I'm not trying to put things down. I'm not trying to um, just... Uh, I, I'm not trying to, like, just quit out on this series or anything. And I'm not saying I'm not saying all this just because it's Marvel, and just because I tend to prefer DC. I'm saying all of this. I, I, I'm thinking all of this because honestly, I'm just not enjoying this series. And at this point, I have to I have to take all of this into account. I'm not really enjoying it that much right now. Again, I see potential in it, but if it doesn't capitalize on it, then what's the point? Then, then it, it's basically all build up and no, uh, oh, what's the word? It's escaping my mind at the moment. All build up and no payoff. There we go. It, it All build up and no payoff, as I've noted before, really irritates me. It, it irritates the piss out of me because build up requires a payoff it's it's a two-step situation you have to have both having a payoff with no build-up just doesn't make sense it's like what are you paying off to but having a build-up with no payoff it's like you're you're leading to something but then there's never anything it actually leads to and it it's creating this false sense of tension false sense of hype and interest and it's actually really annoying and almost feels a little insulting to the viewer's intelligence. But like I said, we're going to continue giving this a shot. If today's episodes are, are, are not satisfactory, or if today's episodes do not do well, then next week we'll put it on uh, watch. If today's episodes do absolutely atrociously, then we'll handle that when we handle that, but like I said, basically my my interest level in continuing this series at this point is somewhere between 45 and 50. And to in order to drop it, it would have to dive to below 10%. Which is very unlikely to happen in just these episodes. That, that's a big drop. You have to understand that. But I did, again, I wanted to bring this up. I wanted to make a big point of this. Also, not only just for this series, but to kind of explain things further with what I want to do with this uh, with this channel and with these reactions and all. I'm thinking of adding like a specific interest, like meter or something or whatever, in the de in the description of each of my um, reactions. Like the interest meter would display my interest up uh, i'd probably put a before and after reaction so my interest meter before i watch that certain episode or episodes or whatever and my interest meet my interest afterwards so for example just just as just to use as an example um let's say let, let's use the steven universe season five finale as the example prior to the f season five finale of steven universe my interest in the show overall would probably have been around 
somewhere between 60 and 70 percent at that point because previous episodes in that season had really started to drag it down from the near 100 percent it had been before after the season five finale it probably would have gone from between 60 and 70 percent down to close to 50 and 60 instead so it would have dropped a whole about 10 percent which is notable i mean it seems like oh only 10 percent but that's actually notable for a series like steven universe which even on its worst episodes usually wouldn't drop low like that um the fact is steven universe my interest in it kind of dropped to more like meh and for a show that used to be one of my favorites that's saying something and to keep to keep in mind it's still very well up there for me overall but in terms of current interest that's where it's at kind of like 50 to 60 percent um the high point of the meh part of the scale unlike this show which is at the low point of the meh at 40 to 50. so like for example like for that episode like if i were to put that in the in the description of that reaction it would say like interest meter before 60 to 70 percent after 50 to 60 percent it would show it, it would allow people to help gauge better my full interest in the series uh so i don't have to like spend you know the amount of time like i've been spending now talking about it um I, i'm definitely thinking of adding that and if i do it'll be added pretty much right away um and, and that'll help people like understand like i said a show will only be dropped if it reaches 10% or lower. 10% or lower. So technically under 11%. If it reaches 10% or lower, I just don't feel it's worth it at that point. I feel like I just ha don't have enough interest to make it worth continuing. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think that's going to be starting in this video probably. Um, so you'll see that there and I mean you can go check it out in the description below when you uh, go to the reaction and all um, which I mean will kind of uh, give you a little spoiler onto how I feel about the re the episode to be fair but I, I think it's uh, honestly I think it's just something I need to do at this point something i need to do to help people gauge how i'm feeling about any given series um i mean granted you could just uh scroll to the through the description to find the link and go from there you don't have to look specifically at the uh percentages you could you could avoid looking at that point is point is i think i'm going to do that and we're going to kind of go from there and see what what happens like I said, it's very, very unlikely that I'm going to drop from a about 45 to 50% interest. Or not 45 to 50. Uh, no, yeah, 45 to 50. That's right. 45 to 50% interest on this series right now. It's very unlikely I'm going to drop to below to 10 or below in just these two episodes. It's possible, but these episodes would have to be really bad really irritating or really boring i think though like and, and with the irritating you could kind of say anger inducing or just really stupid or whatnot as well um but it would have to be something like that just like really getting those negative emotions out of me which again very unlikely because most most things won't do that especially most shows especially won't have that big of a drop in just two episodes uh but we'll see we will see um so uh we're just going to get on with it and i hope to hell that these episodes are good um this is again the first uh episodes following the introduction of our characters and hopefully it starts to tie things up in a satisfactory way so um and, and like i said i really hope that this uh percentage uh scale thing kind of helps uh helps you guys be able to tell like how i'm feeling just generally about a series rather than having to spend like way too long like again i have been in these pre-thoughts 
discussing uh, all of my feelings on this series as a whole. That way I can just focus on the episode I'm getting to and, and try to cut down these redirects a little bit. Um, hopefully that helps. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, we're getting this started. So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episodes. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. We are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. And speaking of this hand, I can count on uh, this single hand how many good things there were with these two episodes. And every single one of them involved the Hulk. Okay, one involved Thor. Because his cute little crush on uh, on Jane Foster was adorable. Um, everything else about this either made no sense, um, is completely over the top in, in the worst way, was honestly stupid in a lot of cases, was so irritating and, and upsetting to watch that there's no way I'm going to be able to talk about it all because doing so would involve me uh, probably going on a rant for the better part of a couple hours. I, I could probably rant about these episodes for a couple hours. Um... But let's talk about a few of the notable issues. So there's uh, Graviton, or whatever his real name was. I don't care. I, I honestly don't care about him because there's no reason to care about him. If this had been something that had been built up before, if we had seen him much earlier uh, in these first few episodes, if he had some kind of connection that we had seen prior to this, he would have been a lot better as a big villain here to kind of unite the Avengers. Um, I say better, but not good, because either way, as I said during the reaction, having a villain this powerful as the first villain that these Avengers have to take on as a team that unites them as the Avengers makes no sense narratively. This is the kind of villain you have at the end of a season. Hell, this is an end-game villain. As in, a final boss-level villain. And again, I know there's much more, uh, there's much stronger villains in the uh, Marvel Universe. I mean, Thanos, for crying out loud, is much stronger. Um, you have fucking Dormammu, or Galactus. There are plenty of villains in the Marvel Universe stronger than this dude. But... That by no means does make this, that by no means makes this guy weak. And it by no means makes him a villain worthy of being uh, this, at this stage of a, of a series. On top of that, on top of that, there are very few characters in this that I actually like. Just in terms of a likability factor. I mean, I think the only ones I really, like, legitimately like at this point are Jane Foster, Hulk, not Bruce Banner, by the way, just Hulk, and possibly Tony. Oh, I, I kind of like Wasp, too. Okay, so there's, like, four. Again, you can count it on one hand. But it's, like, almost everyone else I, I either don't like or just hate. Nick Fury pisses me off. Seriously, I love Nick Fury in the MCU. Why is he such a fucking asshole here? Like, Thor is just a pompous buffoon. And not even the likable kind of pompous buffoon. Ant-Man is boring as fuck. I just don't care about him. And so on and so forth. And 
on top of it, we didn't even have any uh, continuation with uh, I, or Captain America in this one. Um, so I guess Captain America is just not a founding member of the Avengers, which really just, I guess, I don't know how it is in the comics, I'll be fair, but I feel like Captain America should always be a founding member of the Avengers. He's kind of like, he's kind of nicknamed the first Avenger. And, and I've heard that nickname even before the MCU movie. <laughs> so it's not like just something that was created for that. He's kind of the, the, he's kind of the, uh, what's the word for it, the term? The cornerstone, you could say, of the Avengers. In my eyes, there is no Avengers without him. So it's, it's really jarring to not have him there. And, I mean, they could have easily integrated that somehow. Um, going, let's go, let's go back to, um, our villain, though, Graviton. Why does he even exist? Even ignoring the part where he shouldn't be in at this stage in a series. Why is he here? Why, why did they bring him in at all? They have so many big villains already. They're trying to do so much. And the problem is, by trying to have so many ongoing villains, so many ongoing storylines... All it does is make it look like you're forcing shit. All it does is make it look like you don't know what you actually want to do. So you're just doing everything. And that's not a good thing. And now apparently, the, I guess the plot of the series is, oh, they have to catch all these escaped supervillains. It's Pokemon. I made that joke in the reaction. And the, the thing is, am I wrong? That's basically what it seems like the plot's going to be. But it's probably not. They're probably not even going to get to that for, like, what, 10, 15 more episodes? Because they have to go off in, on some other tangent. The action and everything, I can say, is okay. But it's nothing special. When, when I was watching that big fight against Graviton with all of the different uh, Avengers taking part, it didn't feel like anything special. When I watch the MCU movies and see them fight against the likes of uh, Ultron or the Aliens or whoever else, Thanos and his armies or whatever, when I see the kind of fights they have in the MCU, they always feel grand and expansive and like so well choreographed amazingly handled the fight here it, it was supposed to be this big deal it was supposed to be the the unifying fight for the avengers it felt boring it felt really monotonous and on top of it they, they're showing off all of these random super villains a, a shit ton of these random super villains and they don't even show off any Spidey villains. At least none that I recognized. None that I could tell were Spidey villains. They, they're in the... They're at the fucking raft. And they don't show off any Spider-Man villains? You couldn't have someone like Doc Ock? Venom? Um, hell, I'd even settle for fucking Vulture. Just someone... But maybe they don't exist yet. Maybe Spider-Man stuff, all of the Spidey villains and all aren't a thing yet. Maybe that comes in later. I don't even care at this point. I I'm sorry that I seem so fucking negative here. But honestly, these episodes irritated the fuck out of me. And the thing is, we have no idea how any of this happened, by the way. It's, it's presumed it's not uh, Baron Zemo. Uh, it's none of our main villains we've seen so far. Maybe it's Black Widow because she's, I guess, working for Hydra, but not really maybe. Or I don't even fucking know anymore. I'm getting a headache just thinking about this. And Hawkeye was like, he helped out for maybe all of 
10 seconds. Then he just was gone the entire rest of the time. This was made to be a big deal, like this entire big deal about all of these, uh, about all of these super prisons uh, having this mass breakout all at the same time, right? And that's fine. That's all well and good. But when you've already set up a shit ton of stuff and you don't really deliver on any of it with this, other than the prisons themselves being the factor here, when you set up a shit ton of stuff and, and go off on some tangent about this graviton guy with no build up to him whatsoever it's just it's stupid and then there were some smaller stuff i could mention that was just really ridiculous to the point of like extreme irritability such as the fury droid because why the fuck not i mean I'm not even saying that it's out of character for Fury to do something like that, to make a, a robot version of himself. But it's like... Just in the heat of the moment, in, in terms of everything going on, it felt extremely silly and out of place. Not to mention, once again, th they had to focus on so many different characters, so many different heroes in this, that none of them really got enough focus and time. Again, unlike in the MCU, where it never feels like any of the characters are just skimmed over. Even in movies where they are, they actually feel still important to a degree. I said in my pre-thoughts that we're kind of going by this uh, percentage system now. Uh, but going off of my interest in a series, and that if it ever reaches 10% or lower, that's the dropping point. That's the point where it, it goes uh, to the point where I just, I, I don't have an interest in continuing. I don't have en enough interest, not only in not continuing to react to it, but not continuing to watch it. And that applies here. Honestly, I did not think it would happen. I, I said that in my pre-thoughts. I, I thought that this show would at least give me enough to, um, uh, at least give me enough to see potential in it. At least give me enough to hold some level of interest in continuing. I thought maybe at most it'd go down like ten percent, maybe fifteen at, at the worst, at the absolute worst. But no, I don't want to continue. I have absolute... I am almost at 0% desire to continue this. I am not joking. It's not only less than 10. It's less than 5. I, I, it's hard to say right now exactly what like exact number it would be at, of course. But it's between 0 and 5% chance of or desire to continue watching. I really hated these episodes. So much just felt so wrong, and it, they reminded me of why I prefer DC. And I think that's the worst thing that this could have done. Whenever I watch a, again, bring it back to the MCU, whenever I watch an MCU movie, there are times where I've actually forgotten why I love DC more. When I saw Doctor Strange, when I saw Infinity War, I've had points where I've actually like, okay, this is actually pretty damn good. This is, a, and it actually makes me forget, at least for a time, that I'm more of a DC fangirl and always have been and probably always will be. This, these two episodes here, made me not only remember that I like DC more, but made me wish I was watching DC instead. And any show, no matter what it is, should never make you wish you were watching something else. Because it's it's a completely different feeling than making you wish you weren't watching this show. I mean, because then it's like, okay, I, I wish I weren't watching this show right now. It's like, okay, that's that's bad, but it could be worse. When it makes you feel like you, you wish you were watching something else and, and you can think of very big specifics, that means that you would rather be watching 
anything else that there is you have no desire to watch this I just really could not stand the way this was handled. Certain aspects of it were infuriating. Most were just irritating. And again, the very few good parts to these two episodes, I could count on one hand. And all but one of them were like funny stuff involving the hall. I decided to watch the series initially because, um, honestly, because of the opening. That was my. That was why I originally wanted to check this out because the opening is so fucking good, and I stand by that. The opening is amazing. Um, but I've said before that you can't always judge a series based solely on its opening. Sometimes a series will have a great opening and be really bad, or just extremely boring in some cases sometimes you could have a terrible opening but be a pretty good series overall and in the end this is the former it, it's a phenomenal opening one of the best in animation i'd say it is that good of an opening and really gets like the avengers the series does not get the avengers at least not in my opinion it does not make it does not understand what makes the avengers and what makes the mcu especially so popular i really am sorry about this I really am. I never wanted this to happen. But even at the beginning of this, I, I swear, I, I thought there was going to be promise here. I thought that a two-parter like this, even when I first saw the title, when I started watching uh, being Breakout, I, I had some hopes for that. Because, I mean, obviously, with the prison focus in past episodes, we knew what that would mean. I, I was hopeful for these episodes. And they didn't just let me down, they ruined the series for me. They ruined my interest in continuing. This is one of the very, very few examples. Very few, like, like, I, I could probably only name maybe one or two others. One of the very few examples of a show that has dropped that drastically in the course of only one or two episodes. One of the only series for me that has just really shat on itself to such a degree that all my interest was lost in that short amount of time. And it's extremely disappointing and I hate feeling like this. I, I say it all the time. I hate, hate not liking things. No matter what it is, whether it's a TV show, a movie, music, video games, I hate it when I don't like something. And, and I, I, I won't deny that this could have fans. There could be people, in their pro and their, I assume there are, who really love this. But I'm not one of them. I, I, I am not one of them. In fact, I'm, I'm the opposite. I, I could not stand this. And there were some of you who had mentioned that uh, this might end up not being for me. There are some of you who have mentioned that in the comments of previous videos. And that there you've even suggested other Marvel uh, Avengers-based shows 
to replace it in the future. But this is a Monday series, and Monday series means we have to have a pull to choose the next one. And I'm sorry that the, I keep like taking these breaks of silence in the in these afterthoughts and a lot of sighing and all of that. I'm just I'm really fucking disappointed by this. But yeah, I think it's obvious by now I'm not continuing it. I have no interest in ever watching this series again. Not even a clip of it that happens to show up on social media. I have no desire to continue this series. So, either later today or tomorrow, a poll will be put up um, announcing the next set of shows of cartoons that will be um, voted on to take its place. This poll will uh, will be all Western cartoons. And I'm going to try to focus on things other than superhero stuff because I'm, I am going to be starting Young Justice Outsiders on Sundays now that High Score Girl is finished. So I want to, I don't want to have too many superhero things going on at once, you know? So I'm going to try to focus this poll on being other kinds of stuff. And, and we'll get to more superhero stuff in the future. But it's like, I, I don't want to do too much of that at once. You know what I mean? Because even I can get superheroed out. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I don't know what the poll uh, choices will be right now. I, I don't. Like I said, I'll put up another video announcing the poll, and, and that will include all the choices. It'll include um, probably five, I want to say, choices that you can vote on. And that will go for about a week. And then either this coming Sunday or next Monday, I will announce uh, before I put up the reaction, obviously, what the new Monday series is. So yeah, I, I apologize once again. Um, not only just because I I'm dropping this series because of a lack of interest, a lack of uh, desire to continue, but also, I apologize if this disappoints any of you who really were excited for me to react to this series. I know there were some of you who were really uh, hyped for these reactions after, I mean, after all, you voted for it. But, yeah, it's just, maybe in the future a Spider-Man uh, cartoon will do me better because I, I Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel hero. Uh, but... Well, I guess we'll see in the future, but as of now, like, I, I just, I have no interest in continuing. Um, regarding that interest uh, meter thing, though, I, I am planning to do that. Um, and it's probably going to be like a uh, between two percentages. Like I said, right now, my, my interest in continuing this is between zero and five percent on the very on the low end of that too um because I, I mean i'm wondering should i do that though because again my my big issue with that is with the idea that uh it would spoil people on the reactions because they'd be going down to the description to go to the reaction they'll already see like what my percentage might have changed to in regards to my thoughts on the episode and that'll give them like you know, again, spoilers <laughs> on what I thought about the episode. Maybe I won't do that. Or maybe I'll just, I don't know. I'll... Tell me in the comments below if you have any ideas for that. I, I, I'm just kind of, I'm really honestly fucking annoyed right now. So I, I just, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to, uh, how to handle things with that tell me if you have any ideas either way i apologize once again for dropping this especially so soon but i don't feel there's any other choice here not with how i felt about these episodes i i don't des have any desire to continue on
Though, that is just my thoughts on it. Tell me what you thought of the episodes in the comments below. If you liked them, please don't feel f afraid to say so. Like I always say, these are just my thoughts on a, a show, and you are entitled to have your own. Don't just... Just don't... Don't automatically think you have to agree with me in the comments. Don't think you have to uh, feel the same way I do about something. It's always my opinion, my thoughts on something. If you disagree, feel free to say so. But yeah, tell me your thoughts down in the comments below, and thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, the poll video for the next Monday Reaction Series will be up either sometime later today or sometime tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time. And though you've come through many obstacles,